Autolite and its 96,000 dealers bring you Mr. James Mason in tonight's presentation of Suspense. Tonight, Autolite presents the story of the terrifying escape of a dying man, an adaptation of Odd Man Out, starring Mr. James Mason. Hap, I tell you, they're an unbeatable team. Who, Harlow? Why, the generator, starting motor, coil, distributor, and all the other important parts that make up the complete Autolite-equipped electrical system on your Autolite-equipped car. You mean all those parts work as a team, Harlow? They sure do, Hap, because Autolite electrical systems are designed and built by Autolite to give you the smoothest performance money can buy. That's mighty important, too, because your electrical system works for you every second your car is running and every time you turn the ignition switch or turn on your lights, radio, or heater. It sounds like a family team to me, Harlow. Right you are, Hap. So, friends... Be sure to specify Autolite, original factory parts for the electrical system of your Autolite-equipped car if replacements are needed. You'll find it pays. And remember, from bumper to taillight, you're always right with Autolite. And now, with Odd Man Out and the performance of Mr. James Mason, Autolite hopes once again to keep you in... Suspense! Four of us on the raid. Murphy, Nolan, Pat outside waiting with the car, and myself. So there's no need to be frightened, Johnny. It's been all planned months ago. Slow down. The safe will be open. It always is. 3.30. The wages clerk will be picking up the money. There's the office at the end of the hall. Slow down. Murphy looks frightened. I don't like the smell of this place. Here we go, boys. This is the one. This is the office. Take out the gun. You. You. You two over there. Get to the wall. Turn your face to it. All right, shut up. You as you're told. The safe, Nolan. It's open, it is. What did you expect? Hurry, man. Hurry. It's all in. Come on, then. He comes with the police! Slow. Slow. We don't want any attention. Slow. There's the entrance. What a long way off it is. The sack's heavy. We've done it. We've done it. Don't get nervous now. Twenty steps, maybe twenty-five. I can see the car. Good man, Pat. We'll be away in a minute. steps, man. There's the car. Pat Murphy, Nolan. Come on, come on! Stop, you! Johnny, look out behind you! He's got a gun! He's got a gun? Run! Johnny! How mad he is and all. It's like a dream. I can't move from here. It's like a dream. Go! Stop you! Get the sack, Nolan. I'm with you, Johnny. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Hurry. Hurry, get to the car. There's an alarm. Hurry. I'm hurt. He's hurt. Drag him in. Come on, Johnny. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Now I must get into the car. They're waiting for me. I can't. I can't. Hold him on the running board. Go on, Pat. Go on. I can't get in. Hold on to me, boys. I'm hurt. Hold on to him. He's slipping. Ah. This is a hard bed. And I'm waking up for a dream I have had. No, something has happened to me. There was a car and Pat and Murphy and Nolan and... And... I've got to get away. Catch up with them. Wait for me, boys. Oh, it does. Johnny. Johnny, are you all right? Look, he's dead. No, he is not. No, we'll have to carry him. Oh, 
Oh, listen to that man. There's no time. But we can't leave him. Johnny. Oh, look at his poor arm. Oh, we'll never make it. Pat, back it up. Pat, bring the car. Go on. Leave me be. Go on. No, no, Johnny. Oh, there's no time. They'll all be out looking for us. We can't get away. Leave me. Put me down. Run, Nolan. Go back to headquarters with Pat. Oh, no, no. It'll be the end of you. We'll get through somehow. Oh, no. Why doesn't Pat back it up? Do as I say. I'm John Farr. Get out of it. Oh, Johnny, no, no. I'm the chief. It's an order. Uh, all right. Hold on to me, Johnny. There's a shelter across the road. Uh, you heard what I said, Murphy. Ah, the devil was you. I'm staying. And the whistles and bells all around. It's a dream because I'm crossing the road with Murphy and there's people standing watching us. Then I am wounded. And it's not a dream because of the pain. I killed a man, that's how it was. And he wounded me. So it's all up with me now. The police are coming. And it's all up with me and Murphy. Here's the shelter. Oh, inside, Johnny, now. Hurry. Uh, it's dark in here. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Yes, it's dark. Now rest for a bit, will you? Rest. They're outside, looking for us. Yes. I killed him. That was in self-defense. He shot first. We got the money, didn't we? Aye, we got it. Nolan and Pat will have it safe. Now, let's have a look at that arm. I can't feel it. But it hurts, no. Yes, I know, I know. Now, you wait a minute. I'll, I'll find a match. Does it look bad? Ah, it'll be all right. We'll have it all right. I'm finished. It's all up with me. Dennis will be the next in command, you hear me? Dennis, and then you. Shh. Johnny, Johnny, wake up, man. Johnny, Johnny. I can hear you, Murphy, but you'll have to come closer. Oh, I'd like to lay me down for a long sleep. Johnny. I'm tired. Tired. Wake up, Johnny. No, no, there's work to be done. Work for an island. Fight. Johnny, can you hear me? Johnny, oh, I, I, I was so worried, so I was. You'll have to go without me. I, you know I won't. The pain is killing me, Murphy. I couldn't make it. They'll have the whole police out. It was a killing. It's me or the organization. You need help, maybe, but we'll get you out. It's, it, it's a waste. We haven't enough men, enough guns. Ah, can you hold on, Johnny? Can you hold on if I go to Dennis and get some of the boys? Don't do it. I'll find a doctor. I'll bring him here. No. No. <laughs> Look in the shelter. No, no, the people said they ran off to the east. You trust those four witnesses? Don't be dark. Come on. Get back here. Behind the crate. Quick. Uh... Switch on the torch. Right. Now, over there. Ah, they wouldn't have come in here. It's the cordon will be finding them when it starts to close in. Johnny Murder's the one who was wounded. He's the one we want. You keep your eyes peeled, man. It'll mean a promotion this night. He's get him. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, really, I'm sorry, Johnny. I am. I'm sorry. Now, will you listen to me? Are you listening, Johnny? Uh, uh. Now, you keep yourself here. You'll be safe now. They searched. Now don't move. Something went wrong, Murphy. We had it planned. I know, I know, but it doesn't matter now. We can listen, man. The organization will have to lay low for a bit now. You know that. We'll pass the word. Things will quiet down. And then... All right, all right, but first we've got to think of you. Now, I'm going to get out, go out and bring help. I'll do it now. We'll get you away, but you mustn't move from here. What's happened to Pat? Nolan. Are they away? Ah, for the love... I told you, Johnny. I told you. 
What's that? Over there. Maybe someone got in the back. I dropped my gun at the middle. Shh. It's a rat! Murphy! Get it off me, Murphy! Uh, shut up! Shut up! I, I can't yeah. stay. I hate rats. There's more of them. They'll come after you've gone. No, no, they won't, Johnny. Now, easy, man. Here. Uh, Here. Now you can beat uh, them off with the stick. Now, do you hear me, John? Uh, I'm going now. Stay where you are. Sure, you'll be all right in no time at all. I wonder what will happen to Agnes. Agnes, with your hair so black and heavy. And the white of your skin. Agnes, and the secret lovely things of your nature. Have I ever told you? I should, I should. But I'm married, you know. I'm married to the organization. So you'll never know. What am I doing here? What's happening to me? I've never had such a nightmare before. I've got to get out of this. Johnny boy, Johnny Murta. It's me. It's Cher. Are you hurt bad? Why don't you answer me? I've always been your friend, Johnny. Remember? Cher? Get out. Leave me be. Man, the police is looking for you, so they are. Oh, there's killing tonight. How did you get through the patrol? Oh, oh. He's got to get out of my pub. Can't you see the look of him, Mr. Fence? The police will be here. They're everywhere tonight. We mustn't have Johnny Morta found in here. It'll ruin me. So we wandered in, he did. You can't help that. Think of it, Mr. Fence. He's a prize creature. Worth thousands. A couple, anyway. You'd sell him? Oh, sure. He's wounded. The organization would get you for us, so they would. Uh, they might and they might not. Who's to know? You are a foul little rat. <laughs> Am I not? Now, which one of us will go to the police? Will it be you, Mr. Fancy? Or will it be me? Autolite is bringing you Mr. James Mason and Miss Pamela Colino in Ought Man Out, tonight's production in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Sal's Spence. Say, Harlow, my car is equipped with Autolite electrical system. Ah, good, Hap. Autolite electrical systems are used as original equipment on many leading makes of our finest cars, trucks, and tractors. And every unit and component part is related by Autolite engineering design and manufacturing skill to give the smoothest performance money can buy. 
Why, I depend on my Autolite electrical system every time I start my car. You sure do, Hap, and every second your engine is running, too, as well as every time you turn on your radio, heater, switch on your lights, or blow your horn. It pays to keep the electrical system running right, eh, Harlow? It sure does, Hap. So, friends, treat the important electrical system of your car to a periodic checkup. See your car dealer or your authorized Autolite service station. To quickly locate your nearest authorized Autolite service station, look in the classified section of your telephone directory under Automobile Electrical Service or call Western Union by number and ask for Operator 25. And remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage Mr. James Mason in Elliot Lewis's production of Odd Man Out. A tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. There is noise, and there's voices, and the pain hurts me eyes and my body. I heard some talk. It was talk of the police. And I heard them that close to me that they they might have been in the same room. But I couldn't see for the pain. It won't be me will see the police left him tonight. Oh, then, Mr. Fancy. Nor you. Nor you. I want no trouble, but I'll not turn him in. Police is out with Tommy guns and all. It's a big sweep. Sooner or later they'll get him. But I won't do it. Nor you. Stay with him. I'll get whiskey. Oh, for goodness sake. What's to become of you, Johnny boy? Well, you're not long for the joys of life, I'm thinking. And alive, you're worth my fortune. Shell. Shell. Hi, Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> I'm your friend. Uh, it is your friend, Shell. Uh, what can I do for you? I, I was now? supposed to stay where I was. They're coming back for me. Murphy's bringing them. Dennis, Pat, Nolan, Seamus. I was to be where Murphy left me. Even preserve us the whole organization altogether, it'd be worth it. Where, Johnny? Where were you to be? Where's the place, man? I've got to get back. They'll be looking. They'll be trapped. Oh, dear, help us. You're in a desperate state. You can't walk the streets. You can't. Listen to me, Johnny. Listen. I, I, I think you. Uh, you'll need someone. You couldn't move in the city alone. I'll take you. And I'm telling you straight. Do you hear me, Johnny? Come on, Johnny. Come on. And let me help you. I've out. got to get back. Ah, so yeah. Now I'll take you. Uh, uh, now, rest on me, Johnny. Uh, we'll find him. Uh, uh, Mr. Fancy. Uh, careful now, Johnny. We'll go to the back way out. What are you up to, sir? I told you. Sure, I'm helping his all. He has to meet his friends to save him. Now, we're going out the back. Put your head out, Mr. Fancy, and see if the coast is clear. And get a pint. He'll need it. Why am I cold again? The wind. I don't want to walk anymore. Shell. It's Shell, it is. And no one trusts Shell. What am I doing with Shell? Where is he taking me? You turn me in, you dirty... No, Johnny, no. I want to help, not Shell. Oh, dear helpers. Here. Ah. Ah. Now get a hold of this. Take a good pull. It'll give you strength. That's enough. Now you, you've had enough. Come on. Close to the walls, man. Keep out of the light. Where are we going? Where? Oh, sure, and you were going to tell me as soon as you could remember. Murphy's coming back. Ah, oh, that's right. Dennis, the rest. Oh, where? Where will they be? The shelter, the air raid shelter. Back there? Oh, we're going the wrong way. Come on, Johnny, boy, we'll go back. Ah, Shell will take care of you. If I could run, if I could get away from the thing, the pain, I could leave it behind. But I don't. It's wet it is on my face. I can feel it like snow. They said it would snow tonight. It is snow. Uh, I must rest. Johnny, Johnny, come on. You can't rest here in the middle of the street. There's the police all about it. They'll see you sure. Johnny. I had a gun. What happened to my gun? Oh, merciful, he's raving. Johnny. Oh, there's people coming. 
Now we're done for. You hear me, Johnny? I didn't give you up. You hear that? I tried. It's him. There he is. Oh, oh, Murphy. It's me. It's Shell. I was trying to save the poor man, taking him to the shelter. He'd wandered in his delirium, he had. Johnny, Johnny, it's Agnes. You'll be all right now. Dennis is bringing the car around. Oh, you found him. Listen, they're all around. We haven't a chance. Agnes, down the alley. Take him along. We'll hold him up. Yes. Put your arm over my shoulder, Johnny. Uh Uh-oh. Dear helpers, the police. Oh, they're turning into the street. Look. Hurry. Take him down the alley. Quickly, Johnny. Quickly. Come on, Johnny. Come on. Hurry. We'll all be killed. We'll take him to my place. Where is it? It's not too far. No, no, Agnes. I've got a gun. They won't lift us. There's killing. No, I'm going back. Give me the gun, Agnes. It wouldn't do any good. There's too many of them. Dennis! Murphy! Nolan! You're the chief. We'll start again, Johnny. Hurry! There has been killing. I killed a man. A man killed me. I'm alone now. It's a bitter wilderness. But why am I running? It's cold, so it is. But why am I running? I will not run. I will not. Uh, Shh, Johnny. Can't you keep him quiet? If he wakes him up in the tenement, we're done for. That's for sure. We're almost there, Johnny. Then we get a doctor. You must be quiet when we go upstairs to Shell's place. I am quiet. I haven't said a word. Shh, shh, shh. What happened to the boys? It's all right. Shh. Now, don't make any noise. The old woman downstairs will give us away in a second if she knows. Where's Nolan? Murphy. Johnny, darling, no, you must be quiet. I can't walk anymore. I want to rest. Why, he'll have the whole place on us. A few more steps. You can do it. Sure you can, Johnny. All right. I open the door. Agnes. Yes, in a minute, in a minute. We pulled it off, I did. Got away with it. I know. Side with him, for the dear sake. Quickly. There's a bed, Johnny. Now you can rest. Oh, his arm. Oh, his arm. That's the blood that's gone out of him. That's what it is. He shouldn't be alive. Maybe this will stop the blood, Johnny. Turn over. Help me. Help me, Shell. There. Can you get a doctor, Shell? I don't know. I don't know what I've done this night. I should have turned him in. I'd be rich. Now I'll probably lose my life. I'll see what I can do, but keep him quiet. Quiet. Don't let him make a sound. I'm a fool, that's what I am. I know that face. Dear face. Agnes. And it is her own arms around me. Warm, holding me. Why, she? I remember now we raided the mill. Murphy, Nolan, Pat and me. I killed a man, that was it. I must have been hurt. We were hiding. Who was it, Murphy? What was I doing with Shell? He's an informer. The organization will have to take care of him one of these days. The city is too dangerous. We'll go to the country. Then, when it's quiet, we'll start again. Yes, Johnny, yes. But you Uh, must try not to talk now. You mustn't talk. Why did you... Why did you come to look for me? You should have stayed at headquarters. I wanted to. Who let you do it, Dennis? He wouldn't. I had to. I feel better. Good. Now lie quietly. It, it's night, isn't it? Yes. We're safe here. Where is it? Shell's place. No. No, you must be mad. He'll inform. No, he's gone to find a doctor. To find the police. No, he helped me bring you here. You can't trust him. It's all right, it is. Lie back now. Uh, I'm sorry. Shh, don't talk. I'm sorry because... Because I was afraid. I think I've been afraid tonight. No. I'm not now. You've never been afraid of anything. From the first day I saw you, even before that, when I heard about you, I knew you were not afraid. 
Will you give me a kiss? I love you. I've never had time for that. The organization... I love you. The organization has had you. Let them leave you to me now. No. No, you're a woman. You wouldn't understand. It's my life. They're coming. They must have recognized me on the street or, or someone informed. I ran, but they're moving down the street. We'll get out the back way, then. No, no, no. It's a cordon. You can't. Not with him that way. He's the one that informed. He's the one. No, Johnny, no, no, I swear. Run while you can, Shell. But you are. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Johnny. Sure, I I, I did my best. Agnes, give me the gun. Shoot him. He's the one. Informer. Informer. No, no, it's all right. Run while you can, Shell. You let him go. Yes. You let him. And you hold the gun in your hand without shooting. It's the police. They're here. Lie quiet. It'll be all right. They won't take it. They won't. I love you, Johnny. I love you. Then this is how it might have been. Agnes. The scent of her. Her mouth. Soft. But the fight. And what about the fight? They can't beat us. They won't. They won't. Open the door. Police. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. No, no. I'm the chief. Give me the gun. Johnny, no. Give me the gun. Give it to me. Uh, Agnes! We've got him. Uh, Agnes. I... I love... Suspense. Presented by Autolite. Tonight's stars, Mr. James Mason and Miss Pamela Colino. This is Harlow Wilcox speaking for Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Autolite is proud to serve the greatest names in the industry. That's why, during the early months of 52, the Autolite family joins together in saluting the leading car manufacturers who install Autolite products as original equipment. Our Autolite family is made up of the nearly 30,000 men and women in 28 great Autolite plants from coast to coast and in still other Autolite plants in many foreign countries. Our family also includes more than 18,000 people who have invested a portion of their savings in Autolite, as well as 96,000 Autolite distributors and dealers in the United States and thousands more in Canada and throughout the world. Our Autolite family will salute the Kaiser Fraser Corporation on the next Autolite Suspense television program. If you live in a television area, check the day and time of suspense on television so that you'll be sure to see this program. And remember, be with us next week for another thrilling Autolite suspense program on radio. Next week on Suspense, our star will be Mr. Richard Widmark in a radio adaptation of Walter Van Tilburg Clark's study in Panic, The Track of the Cat. In weeks to come, we shall also present Miss Barbara Stanwyck and Mr. Herbert Marshall, all on... Suspense. Odd Man Out was adapted for suspense by Anthony Ellis from the book by F.L. Green. Suspense is produced and directed by Elliot Lewis, with music composed by Lucian Morawak and conducted by Lud Gluskin. Featured in the cast were Ben Wright, Dan O'Herlihy, William Johnstone, Joseph Kearns, Charles Davis, and Raymond Lawrence. James Mason may currently be seen in Lady Possessed. This is the CBS Radio Network.